Today on Blog Success Journal, we're going to talk about three ways that you can have an awesome theme on your blog. Okay, so how do you make your blog look sharp and polished? You know, when you go and you sign up and you create your initial blog account, it looks kind of plain and boring. Yeah. Okay, there's basically three ways that you can make your blog look professional, okay? One, you can do all the coding yourself. Two, you can use an existing template, either free or paid. Three, you can hire a professional to do a custom web design. But I have a disclaimer, okay? To do these things, you've got to make sure you're on a flexible blogging platform like WordPress, and you've got to be running on your own web hosting account. Because if you're running on some free provider, will they provide all the stuff like, I, I don't know, like WordPress.com, things yeah. like that, you're very limited in what you can and cannot change on your blog. Not to mention no support. That, that, that's a yeah. deal breaker right there. So let's talk about option one, the doing it yourself. You know, if you know a lot about HTML and CSS and you have the time, value your time. People are like, oh, all it costs me is time. Dude, that's the most valuable thing you've got. So anyway, if you have the time to invest in it and you don't have the cash, then this is a great option. And you know HTML, CSS, uh, platform-wise, you go with WordPress, like Jennifer said, you install, you get a web hosting account, like with the HostGator deal that we talked about. You, you, you install WordPress on your web hosting account, which is free, the WordPress software, and you can use a graphic design software like Adobe Photoshop to make some of the images. And look at the other sites in your niche, or just look at the other blogs in any niche, really, and find elements that you like or concepts, and you can basically implement some of those that look and feel on your site. Now, option two is a, a much simpler option, yeah. you know, if you're not a coding type of person, um, but it can be more expensive. You know, there's tons of free themes that come with WordPress that you can install, which is going to be better than the basic theme. But again, they may not be as custom as you like. You know, you may want your subscribe box here and the form here and all this kind of yeah. stuff. You may or may not be able to do that with the free themes. So you can get a premium theme from someone like Studio Press, PageLines, DIY, DIY themes, okay? And you just put those in straight out of the box and they're generally a little more robust than the free themes. So, and if you're familiar with web design, then you can make a few little tweaks here and there on your own. Yeah, so that may be the smarter way to go. Now, the other option is hiring a professional. Now, this can get obviously very expensive, and you wanna make sure you have your, your project clearly thought out, you know exactly what design you're looking for, what concept you're going for. Be careful the project sort of skyrocketing out of skyrocketing. It, it does happen. Let's and do it, this, this will be cool. Hey, let's try hey, that. let's add that, and before you know it, you know, you're going and going and going, it keeps growing. Look, this can be very expensive. This just make sure you have the, the cash to do it beforehand. Don't, it's, it probably makes sense to start out with the, with the option Jennifer was just talking about of a custom theme and then customize it with a pro if you're gonna go with this option. Yeah, what we actually recommend, okay, if you're just getting started, is to start free, then go to a template premium theme, and then when, as your business grows and you can afford it, then you can go to a totally custom theme. Yeah.